water mussel work. We'll photograph the live ones, uh, document them, and then return them uh, to where we found them. So far, I haven't found any this way, but uh, Dave's having some luck with it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Well, I've got probably about uh, a couple dozen in a, maybe a 10, 10 foot square. It's crazy. What's the trick? Scrape off the top layer and dig through the dig through with your fingers underneath. You'll be able to feel one because they, they all stand up in a certain way. Uh, right now, we found on, uh, around five species here in the Thames River. Uh, they're indicators of water quality, they're filter feeders, they, uh, they're exposed to everything that happens in the river. So if you've got a healthy mussel population, it's, it's kind of good news that the, the river is capable of supporting them. Uh, some of the common species we're finding are a little more tolerant to pollution, but if, if we run into some of the rarer species, it, it means that the river's in pretty good shape. I was surprised by the size of some of these mussels. They're quite large, and then there's some that are also very tiny, like this one here. Hey, I'm using the viewfinder to help me find some mussels. I've already found a couple mussels with it, so it's going pretty good so far. <laughs> 